beautiful ice cold young lady. Man, let me just see this. And man, I'm on vacation, so let me make this short. Uh, get Ecclesiastes. Just came out, make sure y'all didn't take no seats out. Like, yeah, like. Give up the keys and lease. I heard they was man. I heard, I heard they were a tag team item. I heard Linda brought it. Pastor Linda brought it. Amen. Amen. She is uh, Yeah, I know we bless people. Y'all have no idea. I heard my wife talk about how to handle some money. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to talk about this morning. I'm going to show you something. The scripture said. Oh, don't get scared when we talk about money because you need some. But that president, he might shut everybody down. Man. You know what? We're going to be a blessing. we got two government workers here. Yes. And we're going to bless them today. Amen. 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 Oh, so they found you some funny, right? They ain't found Linda enough. She's at Amazon right now. Put in an extra hour. Ain't that low down? Yes. So thank God. Thank God, Mary. They found Mary some fun. Beautiful. Yes. Amen. Yes. Next to this beautiful sister. I ain't mad at you, man. Uh, can you imagine those churches that, because Linda said this is the first time she wrote a tie check in 25 years. Right. And hurt. Yeah. Nothing she did. Right. She's at Amazon right now, trying to get some out. But we're going to put something in her hand. Yes. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah, we are. Can you imagine the churches that have the majority, they have a lot of their members? Who are government workers? Yeah. Who tithe? Oh, come on, you got some big money. Yeah. Man. <laughs> we were talking uh, at the restaurant. Maybe we ain't never seen it like this president in our life. Never. Yeah. I mean, I'll pick it up going back to, I mean, I was the third day when Kennedy got shot. I remember where I was. People came in crying. We ain't never seen no dude like this. And man, lady guys, you gotta go sell a car. I mean, people are, you say, oh, well, they live check to check. Most Americans live check to check. Come on, can I get an amen from the check to check folks? Watch this. I ain't going to make you feel bad, but all of us live day to day whether we got money or not. <laughs> we live day to day. Okay? The rich don't get an extra day. <laughs> we all live day to day, so don't feel bad. Right. Hey, Amen. My wife said about, about handling money. And I'm going to take it to another Hebrew level. Hey, Amen. You ever heard of somebody who's not legit? You say they shady, right? There's a spiritual shadiness that you need. One, a, a shadiness, a spiritual shadiness. Okay. Well, some of y'all know this part. That's, he that dwelt in the secret place so do what? Abide in the shadow shadow the shade part of the Almighty. Alright? Alright? That's the one everybody can hold. If you're going to learn this morning that when it says, I'll show you, where it says that wisdom is a defense, yeah. it says money is a defense, yeah. the Bible, Hebrew, it says wisdom is a shade, and money is a shade. If you sit in the shade of wisdom, you'll sit in the shade of money. Right. Ah, we're ready. Please ask this chapter 7. Amen. I'm watching Kwana set aside her Range Rover money. Amen. What's the thing they got? Rover, 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 what is that? Rover something. 
We're gonna just put a Range Rover in there for her. Don't be hating them out here having a Range Rover. Now we're gonna we're gonna start with your plate money first. Like this up now. First, yeah, first. Right. So you won't be riding dirty. D U R T Y. Dirty. Not dirty. Dirty when you don't wash your car. Dirty when your place ain't no good. Amen. You're going to start with the plate money. Throw some numbers out there. See, quick with mad. Don't worry, I'm on vacation. I ain't do nothing to sweat. I ain't sweating to do nothing. I'm going to holler, then I'm going to zing it, and sit down for the restaurant. I'll get real with y'all on February 1st. <laughs> I'm not playing. I just stopped by. I got nothing else to do today. Come out and holler at them. All right? Let's talk the plates. Uh, $35,000 car. Tammy, don't answer. You already know. $35,000 car. What's your plates going to be? This one. $3,500. So get your plate money first. Write that down. Get your plate. Don't get your plate money last. <laughs> That's going to get you dirty. D U R T Y. So this, this, it's less than that, but this, that's a good estimate. 10%. So $55,000 Range Rover places $5,500. Okay? They were thinking, dang, your Bentley must have cost you. No, I didn't because I traded in two cars. Ah, that's the blessing of having a title. Mm -hmm. My Bentley place was less than. With some, I think $500. That only makes sense. What should they have been? Ugh. Oh, Half of your year, at least out. Okay, so you always start with your plates first and your insurance. If you can't go there with plate money, you ain't got no insurance card. They're going to send you back home. Same do it, okay? So a new car like that is on your record. Now, you've hit everybody since eighth grade. <laughs> you bumped in everybody. All your cars got curb ranch on the wheels. You ain't never seen a straight bumper. <laughs> your insurance is going to be high, okay? Amen. I know some of y'all had insurance when you were two years old. <laughs> Along with utilities and everything else. Your credit by the time you was in first grade, your credit was shot. Because that's the hood way. All right? See, money laughing. Everybody laughing. Like, what's wrong with that? Third grade with OPPD. Shut off notice. All right, that was fun. Anyway, uh, so insurance in your place. Okay? Then your down payment. So if your car is 55000 your plates is 5500 You can go in there with 10%. Got another 5500 So that Range Rover, automatically, well, she's 70 dealership. She's $11,000. $11,000. Okay. Then you got the Even if her credit, as folks, even your credit, because man, most people are married, don't even have, and we're going to deal with that, don't even have $1,000. We got a very quiet now. I'm talking about where you can go get it right now. I tell you what happened. Uh, we came home. We have two heaters in our house. We have a downstairs heater and a one for upstairs. And a furnace. And uh, I think the pilot light went out. I don't know. I've been blew the whole house. I call them. So I don't know what this is going on. You know, you know I call them. These type of spaces up there for upstairs. Uh, the units. Two units. But. I ain't worried about it, okay? It's not brain, that's just I'm not worried about it because I don't spend all my money, right? You can't spend all your money. Write yourself a note here. You cannot spend all your money. That's not being in the shade, that's being left out in the cold. <laughs> all right? You cannot spend all your money. So this is what the third week in January. You should already have like like Kwana. She's not playing, y'all. 
you ought to have certain projects that you're financing. Yeah. And you're one of them. Yeah. I called my daughter Mary from Paris, so happy. And man, I was going to ball it out. She's been in the States, but she was in Dallas. Hey Amen. Gary and go. Do whatever she want to do in Dallas. And that's what a shutdown. Right. Hello. Go ahead, Mary. I like Mary. <laughs> You can plan that vacation. Your birthday was coming whether the government was up or down. Amen. Amen. Right? You write yourself up. Finance you. Amen. You finance you. Amen. Somebody's enjoying this already. Amen. You should depend on nobody else to finance you. Amen. You finance you. Amen. And when you find, okay, like I I just want she put me, she for real, she put me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I got a baby, I'm taking a dollar, we're gonna find that. I find it anyway. I find it in my sleep. I find it at one o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Call up heaven and ask Chris how quick I can get you a car. I can find you one. I'll spend the money. You like to spend your money, I'll spend it for you. So I'll go where I'll take the dollars, because I don't like you. These folks here, they, they want to know all your business. That's why I buy cars out of town. I don't, I don't know how much I make. And let me pick, they cut it right here related. I'm a fool talk on half to, okay? I go out of town. They don't care. Because in Dallas, if you live in a $10 million home, you're nothing. Okay, back to Guam. Uh, don't go to Dubai. If you got a problem with money and all that, don't go to Dubai. Don't go. Because the minute you see somebody with a Bentley truck who can't get Dolly Park, and your feelings going to be hurt. Because there's other stuff ahead of them. Okay? So, so Kuala, we get down there, uh, you're going to be ready, okay? And you're putting money aside. Now, if some family member or somebody comes along and says, I need, because how many of y'all got people in your family don't never have no money? You say, you want them, okay, don't, don't worry, I got it, right? You want them. You're not lying when you tell them you don't have it. If she's setting aside money for her Range Rover, she's starting with her plate, so I'll keep her right. Did you hit her down payment? And some of the family's talking about, I need a thousand dollars to get out of jail. Or, or they're going to mess up some money because they know you got some money. I don't have it. That's right. I don't know it. Isn't. I don't have it because I'm financing me. How many of y'all don't have nobody else in your budget? All right. Man, you ain't talking. Huh? You gotta finance somebody else. There's another level there. Because you a thug. Yeah, I got it. No, I ain't giving it to you. There you go. Then all of a sudden, add me that. You get a new car, people say, well, what you doing? You, you did? No, uh, uh, that's our money. When you work, you're supposed to have what you want. Hey, Amen. Let me say it again. When you work, you're supposed to have what you want. Amen. If you are husband and wife who can work together, there are no limitations on what you can have. Right. Period. Amen. Okay? None. You set the ceiling. So, Kwan. Am I coming? Like, no, that's my plate money. That's my plate money. That's my. No, you ain't got to tell them what. It doesn't exist. Because a hundred here. 500 here, 50 here. And how many of y'all know you don't get it back as quick as they want? So if $500, I'm going to give you $50 a year over 10 years. Will you keep it? <laughs> Tell them, coach, $500, you don't give me 50 I'd be 73 years old. $50 a year for 10 years? You just keep it. Because you know in year six, you're going to forget. I gave you 400. No, that's 300. I still, I still plan on being sharp at 73. All right. Amen. Are we clear on that? Please ask yourself. We're going to put you in the shade this month. So folks can say you shady, you say you're right. I'm sitting in the shade of wisdom, which means I got some money. 
All right. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 11. And I'm going to mess your whole month up and show the scripture that says that money answered all things. Look at that. Broke people can't say amen. Read. Wisdom <laughs> is good with an inheritance. It's good with a what? An inheritance. Why does every generation have to start over? Amen. The reason why C Money handles money is so C Money Junior won't have to start all over again. Amen. Why should every generation start over? Okay? They shouldn't. Most of all, we love our family, but none of them plan on you to ever go to school because they didn't say no school money. The reason why my boys can rip and run, Raphael got that job, we can post in China, or if the deal comes through, whatever, because he has no student debt. Amen. 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 I know you know what, it's good when it's not enough. James and James prayed with for pity. He was responsible for four million dollars. They're only paying forty thousand dollars a year. He said, Y'all pray I get laid off. Amen. 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 All right. Uh, Cammy uh, got a seventy thousand dollar raise because he was listening to his daddy talk about tithes and offering. He was paying tithes, wouldn't give an offering. He put an offering with it, and guess what? God honored his offering because he got a seventy thousand dollar raise that kicks in next month. Now he'll live years without that money, so don't go up in your budget on that seventeen thousand. He got some other plans that they kick in. Man, his tie check might be seventeen thousand. Yeah, he's working on right now. Amen. And I'm following right behind it. Right? <laughs> we waiting on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You know. Because you're supposed to live right. You're supposed to live shady for the rest of your life. Be in the shade. Right? I didn't say illegal. Make sure you write your notes right. That's not supposed to be illegal. No, shady. Because wisdom is a shade. I'll read it to you the way it is in Hebrew. All right, so wisdom, read. And by it there is profit to them that see. Does that say P R O P H E T? I'm sick of that one. P R O F I T. I'm sick of P R O P H E T. <laughs> I ain't never seen so many raggedy apostles and apostles. <laughs> I see them both ways. I see the toes and the old. Apostle <laughs> and apostles. And everybody's a prophet. With no prophet. P R O F I T. Okay? Now I'm going to show you in Ecclesiastes chapter 10, when it talks about having a feast. I just summarize because I'm on vacation. When they, they, when, if there's no money, there's no feast. That's what it means. When it says money ends all day, you can't help nobody if you don't have nothing. Okay? Read. For wisdom is a defense. Wisdom is a shame. Boy, that's some good stuff. Wisdom is a defense. There's three defenses. Wisdom is a defense, money is a defense, and God is a defense. Both can say God is defense when they got no money. But when they had money to defense, and wisdom is a defense. All right, the wisdom. Uh, Bishop Wagner told me on the phone when I blessed his office. He said, uh, Bishop Ball, I don't know how, but somewhere, someone's going to give you a million dollars. You're going to get a million dollars. Okay? A million dollars. I don't know if you're going to have an idea or whatever, or what, but you're going to hit a million dollars. Amen. All right? When Bishop Ben, when they first told me the thousandfold blessing, I've been blessing Bishop Ben since 1990 something, 92, I look at my And I remember I burnt my hand on my motorcycle, and I wouldn't even go. So we got to start today. When David took it, he took it and said, this is a blessing of a thousand fold. Thousand times a thousand is what? Man, man. Look. It's a low group, right? <laughs> blessing of a thousand fold. Put your calculator out. What's a thousand times a thousand? That's why I stayed in Paris. <laughs> 
Y'all didn't see me in the street with the riders? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mary said, you tell us to go away. You ran out there and go, well, Mary, I'm a pastor. You, you just, you stay, you stay in a hotel. I'm out trying to fit the right. Sell some footage. <laughs> money is a, wisdom is a shade, and money is a shade. Okay, read. And money is a defense, but the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to the be difference between man. wisdom and money, money won't give you life. But wisdom will. Yes. Okay? So you don't want to be defensive. How many of y'all got, don't be lying because, I, you know. How many of y'all got big plans for you this year? Jerry, you saw Walmart. You gonna need to tell me the way you like to travel. You know what I like to see y'all do? You this this for you. This for Daryl Carter. Yes. I like for you to, to get that home back. You know what I'm talking about. Amen. Matter of fact, the one next door is for sale by the owner. Don't don't take that L. Right. Right. I ain't even talking to y'all. Don't take that L. Drive by and go, I want another chance. Right. I want another chance. Lord, I thank you. Amen. I want another chance. If I got to use Walmart, which I hate, to amen. If I got to take my bonus and get it, I want another chance. Amen. How many of y'all ask God for another chance? Amen. Because everybody here has messed up some money. Amen. Whoever ain't messed up no money, you can leave and go home down. That's what I thought. Amen. Anybody move. Everybody here has messed up some money. How many of y'all messed up a lot of money? Right. You was buying little raggedy dudes playing some oak tree or whatever. <laughs> buying what you the poured in the Negroes. You need right now. Amen. Huh? Bless it. Blessing people with axes chasing you down the street and stuff. Just, just ain't here. Somebody thank God for the Holy Ghost and some sick. Amen. You go and you don't take that L. Right? Because you want ownership. According to the word of God, if you're a saint of God, you should Abraham, you should own something. Ownership, property, land, whatever you want. Folks, it is the 20th of January. Don't sit and waste another year and please don't watch other people live. It's time for you. How many of y'all really? Amen. This is your year to live. Amen. And you are going to finance it. You punch that clock. You're supposed to finance your lifestyle. You know, depend on nobody else to finance your life style. You always looking to upgrade your life style. Okay? You're gonna start with the bare minimum. A thousand dollars. I don't want you to raise your hand, I might start crying. Who don't have a thousand dollars cash? I don't care where you put it right now which means you have no room for no emergency and that's bare minimum okay don't have a thousand dollars but got the latest phone i'm looking for a brick phone i'm gonna find one i don't think it'll get fired back up but i don't i need to live waste anyway that'd be a nice little five pound hey man Okay, we'll start with a thousand dollars. So my wife showed you the envelope. Now she got an envelope for me, but don't get it twisted. I don't need a little envelope. That's in case I got a hundred dollars bill. I don't feel like breaking them. So I go to her. She likes twenties. I like hundreds. I know she has a twenty around somewhere. All right. Then she gets smart. I think she's sweet. She's a smart aleck. <laughs> she's not, not, not. <laughs> Everything I said was funny. You didn't laugh, but you laugh at that. See, I'm not right. But, I, but it's my birthday month. I don't even care. Right? He's a smart aleck. 
give it like I gave. I want to press I give you I want to press one back. Now, now we're gonna be the ones that come to the church, the ones that smell like weed. The ones where you go out there and get a contact. Don't go to the church when it smells like weed. I'm like, I wanna work at the office. No, you wanna sit there and sniff the bathroom. Smell like weed, okay? So that's the envelope system, all right? If you're a priest, which means husband, then you don't have a thousand dollars. If you both work, it's two thousand. Okay? Don't be quiet, folks. Get started. Mm. You got to fund your vacation. Not going to Dubai. Amen. Man, if they come up my flight with they change my flight with it. Do I want a refund? No, I'm gonna rebook. Something to do with Delta. But we pay for it back in what? August? August. Look, I have a post, I got three posts that ain't going. <laughs> three, three posts that ain't going nowhere. Oh man, that's crazy. Amen. So the scripture said, I'm not done. The scripture says that the difference between money and wisdom is that wisdom can lengthen your life. Okay? Now here's the only thing about money. The lack of, and I'm so glad Lisa and Keith up. When you get booed up, LMA, that's your first argument. Is money. Alright? Single women. Just think if you had as much money as you had nasty thoughts. You'd be balling out of control. For every nasty thought, there's a hundred dollars bill, you'd be like, I'm rich. <laughs> Come on. Crazy rich Asians, crazy rich black people. That's a whole new movie right there. <laughs> Amen. Okay? I'm a mess with y'all now. Your lack of handling finance will mess up your love affair. Amen. Ain't no broke chick out there, I keep cheating. Right? Now, Linda hurt your feelings and talking about two dollars twenty. I said, "We, I said, I'll at least say three dollars." But she said, "That's the way your church appreciates you." I don't think you said me one more sense. All right, because I'm nice. I don't like such a ball. I'm really nice. I'm, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. I'm, I'm, I'm really nice. I'm really nice. I'm really nice. I'm the sweet one in now. <laughs> man, Coach, look, Coach, I can't believe you. You can be smirking too, man. Coach, be on But that's your, ask anybody been married in the time. Some people live together. Ask anybody, that's your first argument. Is why you went to high B and got chucked down for a titty roll. <laughs> why, if, when they, you put the car at the end, a curse word comes out and the smoke comes out? <laughs> <laughs> finally caught you. Alright? That's your first argument is finance. Somebody who's raised right, they're going to ask you, okay, how do you handle money? Do you have it? <laughs> like, huh? Lo and behold, they marry you and out come 20 credit cards. Hmm? All of a sudden, you got everybody parked in your driveway. IRS, <laughs> Bank of the West, Wells Fargo, they all got you, and they got a SWAT team behind them. Huh? So you got you got a credit score of 207. <laughs> it was 300. <laughs> it went down. Now hold on. 
but, but, but your weight and your credit score are the same. Amen. Huh? People, I got a reason. I had a low credit score, but it was a man told me, Todd, 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 Todd. What did the man tell you in the office? The man said, I had good credit with him. Huh? Uh, and when you hit and miss, it's all considered miss. As OPPD and MUD. Okay? These are say one time they, 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 her company changed computer system. Come send me a bill for, what was that nasty? $14,000. $14,000. Y'all got to be kidding. So I had to talk to the supervisor. Or whatever. But man, if I had been behind, whatever, they wouldn't go fool with me. And they get a book director, oh, he pays on time, who, who? Because even though it was their system, they still wouldn't work with me. Amen. If I'd have been behind. I had to call the supervisor, the supervisor, and then look, I'm paying him for $14,000. We got it worked out. Right? So hit and miss is still miss. Does that make sense? Robin Paul to pay Peter, you don't get tired. Amen. You don't never pay on your utility bill. Just pay. If it's 200, I'm going to give them 130. Okay. Other second, you're going to get your nails done. The next one, you're going to get them done in the dark. <laughs> the next one, you're going to be able to see it. Then you got to get the iPhone, flip on the light. Everybody understand about financing themselves this year? Yes. Amen. You finance you. You finance your birthday. You finance your trip. You set it aside. Amen. Because <laughs> when that day comes and you're able to take off, I was glad to hear she, you know, even she took off. Pastor Linda said she's making it off her savings now. But we're going to bless her because she is, amen, amen, supportive, amen, and she ain't no beggar. She don't, man, she, she won't tell you because, but she hang out with beings. She called one, I won't call to tell you which one it is, she called one of them grandpa. Now for real. She, so she ain't no beggar. She really wanted to do this, but I'm pooping over Russia, so she can't do nothing about it. Right. But she's li she, she living off her savings or whatever. Now, her problem is, she's a single mother whose son went back to Boston. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Yeah. Did we love us some, don't we love us some baby on? Are we proud of some baby on and let you poop? Yeah. Amen. You talking about, you know, he engaged, and he ain't one of these dudes be engaged a long time. Yeah, I'm going to give you a little hint. Go. Anyway, uh, she uh, she's working right now at Amazon. She can't stand a lazy man. We had one at our house one time that took the suede off my couch. I had a suede couch. I did. And that lazy Negro slept on it and took the nap off of it. Nap took the nap off. My couch got slick. It went from suede to leather. Just like that. Smooth leather. Because of a lazy nap. Huh? Come on, women. Don't leave me out here on the limb. How many of y'all can't stand a lazy nap? How many can't stand a broke ninja? Huh? We can't do nothing for you. Come on, Angela. Come on, you say. A broke man. Come on, make you stand up. How many of y'all, a broke man, he ain't even cute no more. How many y'all stand up on that? If he's broke, he ain't cute. Some of y'all, well. 
No, I didn't say raise your hand. Stand up. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. A broke man can't do nothing for you. Sit back down, make it loud. Sit back down. Huh? Why did that? And he don't want no broke woman. Amen. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. You said it's a factor. A broke woman. Huh? That an end of day. What's your credit score? That an end of day right there. I want all three agencies. <laughs> it got quiet, didn't it? Huh? I want all three agencies report. Huh? Because how are we gonna buy a home if I put your name on it? If I put your name on it, they're gonna the house. Okay? Now my wife's credit score was higher than mine. Cause I hope she told you we made a lot of mistakes. Or oh, I made them. She came one long way. Alright. She did, yeah, she did. I ain't trying to make you feel bad. I'm trying to let you know we didn't quit. We kept on going. Kept on going. I ain't trying to make nobody feel bad. Only reason why we didn't, I didn't stop back right because I didn't have five hundred dollars. Okay, she told y'all. See, I told y'all. Huh? Not for real. I ain't trying to make nobody feel bad. It's all seasons. Hey, Amen. It's a season we in. But we already had another season. Hey, Amen. And can still have better seasons. There's all, when it comes to money, because none of us had nobody leave us anything, there's always room for growth. Hey, Amen. Huh? Watch this. There, there are other things to shoot for. Uh, Six months earnings in cash. A year's earnings in cash. How about, watch this, so much money you don't need insurance. That's what people don't have insurance, y'all know that? They don't have to. They got piles of legacy money. Right? No matter what happened, they could fund it. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Are you, so you think Prince Charles is playing paying Liberty Mutual? The other one just had an old dude just had an accident. 97 driving. 97 years old, he's driving a Range Rover and flipped it over. That time he was sit down, y'all. And I bet you State Farm didn't cancel him. No. He ain't seen State Farm. Right. How y'all believe? I bet they ain't had their hand on some money. Y'all know they didn't have to have money on them. They don't even carry money. Right. Money is for poor people to walk around with. They don't carry money. He done lost his wallet. He don't, somebody, anybody find my wallet, put it on snacks. <laughs> no. <laughs> they don't have a wallet. Okay? Ecclesiastes chapter 10. So you're going to finance you. And you're going to do it big. Huh? And you're going to learn to shop. <laughs> yeah. Man, I ran to some dudes in Paris that was <laughs> shop. They were buying. You know, everything is 70% whatever. Man, these French talking sharp dudes. That's why they come to my church, clean my church out. But who would have the style? You got the life you live in. Who would have the style where they would even take a second look at you? Not with the bags they had. Ah, you put me down. I'm not putting you down. I'm trying to expose you. Huh? Amen. I'm so proud of Nani and God. Yeah. Amen. How do I know Nani going to make her mark in God? Not just the beauty, but the class, how she carry herself. Amen. That beauty on inside, not your man. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
That's why I already went to the voodoo doctor asking them for a formula. <laughs> Come on, Marcus, talk some African about Nandi for us. A sacred pepper. Somebody talk to their voodoo doctor about Nani right now. Huh? The women bow down to a crocodile, whatever they're doing. Amen. That ain't the word of the Lord. <laughs> Trying to ask the gods of the crocodile for Nani. If you come back in a crocodile coat, you just shut your mouth. <laughs> crocodile coat. <laughs> Uh, Ecclesiastes 10, 19, I'm on vacation. No, calm down. What that say? A feast is made for laughter. A feast is made for what? Laughter. Ain't no laughter. Put a plug on the napkins that been covered there. You don't have a feast, ain't no laughter there. You don't invite no one over to, to watch you eat just and be sad. Go somewhere. A feast is for laughter. Uh, that's why I'm sure you some of, yo, yo, there, there has to be laughter in your marriage. Not too plain a dozen with each other because one of y'all might be sensitive. <laughs> it has to be laughter and fun and joy. Okay. Huh? Let's say you didn't pay a bill and your lights out. Play tag in the dark. <laughs> Get what? Get crazy. I bet you can't find me. Oh, you found me, huh? <laughs> oh, that's why it's not Tuesday, all right. <laughs> but don't sit there and, you know, come on now. You got to have laughter. Got to have some fun. We got the game, doctor. The music came on. There was Coco over at the other side dancing like she's still in Northwest. <laughs> I ain't never seen Ariel dance so much. Every time the song come on, she just got to shake her tail feather. She just did uh, death, death arm. She danced more now, married than she did when she was singing. Why do you explain Coco after all these years? Just a bobbing and weaving. Then Michelle comes in and she's bobbing and weaving. I'm the only one that bob. <laughs> happy. Somebody dedicate their life to being happy this year. Amen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be happy, I'm having some fun, and I'm going to laugh, I'm going to put a jaw muscle. Because of laughter. You better hear me enjoy the feast before the month, before the food runs out. That's life. Enjoy the feast. You ain't got time to be miserable. Write yourself a note. You ain't got time to be miserable, you ain't got time to be around miserable people. Come on, free. Feast is made for laughter and wine make it merry. Wine. <laughs> not, I'm, I'm looking in the back, not Scotch whiskey. Wine. Not Hennessy. Wine. Uh oh, purple bag. You're going to bring your offering around with a purple bag. you be a collector. That's how they gave it to me. You lying, all right? What else, Reed? But money answered all things. It just said in Hebrew, and I'm done. Money answered all what? All things. things. Amen. And nobody has the right to tell you what thing you want. That's right. Amen. She may not want a rainbow. She gets the same money like, you know, I want a G Wagon. Well, we want to up the game then. Yeah. That ain't none of your business. Amen. Huh? She could have took that money and fed who? Fed who? You don't tell people to do with their money. Amen. That ain't none of your business. Okay. Amen. That's what's on the Democrat or most of y'all Democrat. That's, they taught y'all that. <laughs> all these Democrats. <laughs> they taught y'all that. The world owes you something. Always a government program. Right. Always got your hand out. Right. What the world gonna do for me? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Say it again. What's the world gonna do for you? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right. 
for who they nothing. N O D H I E D, got what the world owes you. Nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Are you Democrats <laughs> looking for a grant? You are. You're going to be your own grant writer. Yes, right. When she's saying that money, that's her grant. That's a quarter grant for quarter. Right. Yeah. Fund And just between that and a grant, they can tell you how to spend it. Yeah, right. You can't tell quarter how to spend the quarter grant. Right. Right. You yeah. Answer all things. We read it to you when we got it. This is your day. This is your day. Then we're going to click the tithing off and we're going to bless Pastor Randy. I got somebody coming. I'm in that. I two people coming. I'm in that. Is she a blessing to us? Yeah. Man, you can't. Man. You treat her like she ain't got problems. She got problems. She got more God than she got problems. That's how you make it in life. Amen. Man, that girl really, really, really wants to be saved. Isn't that beautiful? Are we blessed? Yeah. We are blessed. And we got people here that really, really, really want to be saved. Ain't taking no shortcuts. Mine already started. Mine already? I already know. She started? Yeah. I already know. Come on now. We ain't coming no dollar either. It says, if there is no money, there is no feast. Therefore, a person should not neglect work in order that he should have what to spend. Uh, they said, Bishop Jake said that prayer is no substitute for laziness. That's what he said. Prayer. I'm going to pray about it. No, I'm going to go. Like, she's going to pray. Remember, I'm doing this because I want to bless her. But if I did, if she's already on the right now. Getting more hours. So if a woman can do that, uh, can a priest do that? Yes. Priest will be sitting back, suffering. Yes. Amen. Yes. Go get some money. Yes. Amen. Yes. I'm coming out to the church to pray. No, come and get some money. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. All right. You want to fall in love with some lazy man who want to pray all the time. I bet you won't be praying. No, no, no. <laughs> You'll be suffering. Amen. And there are, a lot, and there are lazy men that come to church. Thank God we run them up out of here. Amen. No, amen. Tell them Glenn, there ain't been nowhere. Tell them Glenn. A uh, lazy brother want to shout all the time. <laughs> come on, help them Glenn. There ain't been nowhere. A uh, uh, shouting lazy brother. I can't work. I can't spend. I gotta spend some time in the word. <laughs> well, here's one for you. Man, don't work. No, 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 no. And that's a couple of restaurants I'm talking about. <laughs> there's a couple of restaurants I got in mind. <laughs> Man, don't work. No what? Put the knife in the up, brother. You ain't eating it. <laughs> Put the knife in the up. You ain't eating it. Both All right. Gonna put you on a fast. You better get a job fast. Ain't nothing worse than a church brother shout all the time and don't want to work. A shouting brother. I can't do it. I'm gonna pull something. Here's what to look for. Come on, man, you pay attention. Here, just, look, look where if arms are too far, he's shouting, bro. Watch that back leg. <laughs> Pull a hamstring kicking that far back. <laughs> shouting all the time, you got no money. You ain't supposed to be that happy anyway, you ain't got no money. <laughs> you ain't supposed to be that happy anyway. Well, uh, anytime a man is broke and he's happy, run! Now the other side of that dick of your husband, if his money, if he down to his last half a million and he ain't saying good morning, he's edgy. That's that half a million. Y'all like, what? I'm down to half a million. Mm -hmm. 
Look at that man over Amazon. Now, his girlfriend, he about to lose eighty billion dollars. Right. Man, I wish you was, I'm gonna say something too. That I can't say I got kids. Don't say it anyway. He about to lose eighty billion dollars. This girl, if you Google her name, billion. This girl is a professional hustler. She done been with a cup. She got a baby by Tony Gonzalez. She been. She don't do. She don't. She don't deal with broke dudes. She has used a bang shape. She done used her beauty. She don't. She been an NFL player. She get. She get married. She has affairs. Dude said, I can't trust her. This girl is a gold digger. Done took this funny looking Mr. Magoo looking man with money. Right. And here's what makes her interesting though. And she's, a, she's, a, she's a hoe, but she's an interesting hoe. <laughs> <laughs> because she can fly her own, she can fly helicopters. That's right. That's an interesting hoe. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Now, man, I tried. I couldn't do it. Right. Now, it's going to make me feel bad. No, fly a helicopter where you have a, a cichlid and you got to make motions like that. You hit a motion like that, you did. The man said, look, he said, he said, right. He said, I can get us out of anything. Man, this dude, my, my instructor, he flies helicopter, a helicopter like black people skate. Backwards. <laughs> no, he make that helicopter back. Only thing he needed in a helicopter was a towel around his neck. Yeah. Other than that, Backwards, make it dip. Oh, I wanted to fly a helicopter, so I just want because I want to get one and just land on my own island. Period. I want a helicopter so bad, man. I could not do it. When I finally uh, learned how to hover, and I had to leave because it cost me a ton of money. And there were women instructors. Just get 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 in helicopters, man. They were getting like you get in your car. Take off, hover, and fly. So this chick. She learned how to be an interesting hub. Yeah. Yeah. By learning how to fly a helicopter. Okay? That separated her from everybody else with banging shapes. But this man about to lose 80 in his state. Got to cut in half. Because this woman he with, no, nah, she ain't as cute as who he messing with. But see, the reason why he worth 100 and something big. Right. Ain't that something? Yeah. So he willing to cut that in half. Now, they talk about he's the richest man in the world. That's legal money. <laughs> that ain't El Chapo money. <laughs> that ain't Chapo money. <laughs> That's legal money that you can put in the bank. All right? But this man about to lose half his wealth for this woman who is married to this other man who ain't broke. So she got everybody in the club She got other man. This, this chick is tough. What you done sacrificed your body for, she wouldn't even keep laughing at you. She about getting paid, right? And this man about to lose everything because of her. He going to trade in a woman who, if you read the bio, she's the one that helped him. She's a, first of all, she's an author. She writes books. All right? She's the reason why she was the account. She's the reason why the business grew. How dumb is he, y'all? He, she is the reason. She was there from the ground up and helped his ideas and that thing just, man, man, he gonna trade in money for some beauty that's gonna fade. All right. And cut his money in half. How many know when he, when he, when he, when that, when that, man, he used to be When he got away here, that nasty $80 billion check or half. How many of you know it's going to affect that uh, relationship? Yeah. He might wait and say, it ain't worth it. Right. I can teach my wife how to fly a helicopter. Right. I ain't going to buy a helicopter. You can buy a helicopter, buy a personal train, everything. Amen. Huh? But it ain't worth it. You're not going to be that chick. Okay? You're not going to be that chick. So the other side of that is, uh, you don't have to be a whole to be interesting. <laughs> All right? You're going to walk with God. 
but you don't have your money handled. And if something comes up, you're going to be like, hold on, hold on, I've been putting money aside. I saw this day coming. I was handling money when I was by myself. Amen. I was the only man I had, so every head bowed. <laughs> You can be an interesting saint. That was my point that I didn't make. An interesting saint. Who can handle money. Who keeps money. Orlando. Yeah. Amen. Real quickly. Real quickly. We were so blessed last week. Great job. Okay. And Keith and Lisa. Yeah. Amen. I was gone. Yeah. Amen. Blessed to have Pastor Linda, who we are going to bless. Yeah. Amen. Oh, I see the nurse, Tracy Warren, is here to tell God thank you for all those great accomplishments. And yeah. Amen. Get the prescriptions right so don't nobody OD. Amen. But uh, uh, let's see. We had a. Uh, my wife gave a budgeting class. Amen. So y'all can handle your money. Because money is a defense. And the Bible says, so we're so blessed to have a, a small family. But it's a powerful family. Amen. And we thank God. We thank God for the young couples. Some of these babies probably can't come out this kind of weather. Amen. My wife, my wife's mother who is rough, rough, new, newborns. Amen. Oh, hey, Walter Ray done left his estate. Now he done made it. Amen. Left his. That's, that's not a house, that's an estate. Real quick, get your Bible, get Hebrews. So much, so much to be thankful for. Good to see the saints of God living the best life. I'm so proud. Stand up, Sonia, with that exquisite dress on. I'm so proud. Sonia. Listen to me, Sonia is on her way to Hawaii to celebrate her 50th birthday. Y'all didn't hear me. I didn't say council bluff. She's on her way to Hawaii. Amen. But well, they all look like green. But well, they all look like green. Go ahead, I was supposed to y'all be in Hawaii when y'all walk by. She's on her way. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to sell some of that. I'm going to sell some of that. I'm going to sell some of that in Amco parking lot. Give me a little business. Amen. But we're so proud of Sonia. Amen. I think Vicky's going with her and uh, Queen going to meet up with her somewhere. Amen. We are serious about you living your best life. And that takes money. <laughs> Amen. It takes money. I'm praying. No, you pray for a job. Prayer is not, is not a substitute for laziness. It takes money. And you know what I love about her? Ain't no, ain't no sugar daddy. She's funding her own trip. When you work hard, you're supposed to fund your own trip. Sugar Daddy ain't taking you to no Hawaii anyway. He'll take you to Ramada Inn. And you paying for that. <laughs> Come on now. See, funding. Amen. See, and my wife taught that. Budget. Yeah, see, some of y'all pay on your tithes, which ain't right. Supposed to pay tithes and offering. Pay on them. God can count. Trust me. Amen. <laughs> you don't want God to do you like you do Him. Man, I can't even count my blessings. <coughs> That's gonna make people dislike me. They really dislike my faith. Amen. That's my faith in time. That's how I live, people. I live like that. Uh, so God gives me stuff discounted. Amen. But it's beautiful to be able to handle your money in your singleness and your marriage as as your later. Amen. And her husband, he handled money. Period. He trusted her to handle money. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Uh, hey, handle money. 
Okay? Money is a defense. Wisdom is a defense. Yes. All right? That is the word of God. That's as much word as baptism in Jesus' name, being filled with the Holy Ghost. People want to subtract that. God's going to give you life. He's not going to give you style. I just had a great talk with one of my daughters. So proud of her. Said I ran into a group of men, Lisa. I was shopping in Paris. The kind of men. Thank God they come here. The weak-minded ones. They, they, they have all y'all. Speaking French. Just real men, men. But they had taste. I said, which one of my daughters could match? You can't be cheap. He was that kind of man. Now look what he buying for himself. He buying that for himself. What would he do for you? I said, which one of my daughters could track their attention? Not because they have dress, it's because they have that inner beauty that shows outward. Yeah. Amen? I saw, I was like, man, which one? Because these dudes, man, they've seen the best of the best. They don't went to Barcelona, they seen everything. But you're taught that you're taught to live your best life with no compromise. Amen. Somebody heard the morning the message this morning. They didn't get mad. They said, wait a minute, it was a family man. I tell you what, it was cold. So wait a minute, I got convicted. He said, I'm gonna go home right now and put my budget together. We have made too much money. I'm gonna go sit down with my wife and go over what I just heard. I said, I see you when I see you. Amen. I wasn't offended. Amen. Huh? When you hear a word, you're supposed to move on it. Now I'm going to segue into this. It's because of the word of God. It's some heavy Hebrew. It's going to be short. But it's going to be potent. It's about what the word of God is. Get Hebrews. Let me show you something. I was studying this. When I got back, and it makes sense, I shared part of it with May Lee. And then she used that Creighton education and just picked it up real quick. You might have just struggled to kill him, but I'm going to help you. We're going to take you along. Chapter 4, Hebrews. I'll show you something. Chapter 4, look at verse 12. 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Of unbelief. Please don't let 2019 be the year you marinate in unbelief. Amen. Oh, man. Unbelief. Write this down. Fear will paralyze you. Anytime you see somebody suffering from paralysis, you can't live the best life. There's always somebody stopping them, somebody blocking them. This is happening. The white man, the black man, the green man, the orange man. It's always some man stopping them. It's really fear. They're paralyzed. All right? Fear. Do not use this year to marinate in unbelief. Do you not, not know that unbelief is sin? Oh man, come on now. Are we talking about smoking, drinking, laying around? No, unbelief is sin. Amen, according to the Bible. Um, there's a place in the lake for the, oh man, the unbeliever, right? That's in your Bible. The unbelief is sin. That's why we got to come to the house of God and review only thing that can help your unbelief. Man, the, the disciple said, Lord, I believe, but help my Why? Because the first thing that comes to our mind today is to doubt God. Yeah. Amen. That's why you should, the Lord, he dwells in the midst of what? Praise. He don't dwell in the midst of unbelief. That's right. Unbelief for him to have brought you thus far and you don't believe him offends him. Yeah. Let's, let's apologize to him right now. Amen. Only 20 days in a year, but somewhere we have already, we have something that God want to do, but we don't believe. Unbelief. Come on now, let's apologize. We're going to be gone in a minute. It's cold outside. But Lord, I, I want to, I, I want to repent. That's a better word. For my what? Unbelief. My unbelief. Proud of Pastor Linda. She didn't. She, she said she got for 25 years. She's written a tie check, but couldn't because of the president and a shutdown. Huh? And in that uh, shutdown, she said for 25. And her stuff is faith. Because I have a faithful list. I share and all. I know who gives what. If you're on that faithful list, you like clockwork. If you're on that guest list, you just on that guest list. But I got a faithful list. Like I know the day, everything. Amen. Huh? As long. 
Go hit and they're gonna come to you. Amen. It's a good list to be on. Because if you're on my list, I'm just a human being. Just think what you mean to God. When well, man, there's some stuff that you got coming that can't nobody stop. You gonna open up a door, can't nobody close. Amen. You're gonna get it at your at his price, if not free. Somebody here, you don't line yourself up. Somebody give you something that you want. Somebody tell God thank you. Amen. Why? Because you believe God is gonna take care of you and you ain't trying to live off the 15% that's set aside from him. Amen. Some people believers, some of they believers and don't they don't pay time. Lack of paying tithes or offer is a sign of lack of faith. Yeah. Unbelief. Amen. Believe. Okay. It is a sign of unbelief. I believe God. But look at Pastor Lynn. No paycheck. She's at Amazon right now. Trying to get some out. Go be at Amazon too. That's nothing that she did. Because a man, the president said, is ran by three people. And now she don't get a paycheck. I said, but Grace Apple Sally is going to bless you. Yeah. She didn't have her hand out. Amen. And we're going to bless her. We get it this morning. I'm over for you. We're going to, amen. If you have your natural, so we ain't going to be here long. It's cold outside. And right so we're going to bless her. Amen. If you're a faithful person, you put, you put a, you write a check, I'll cash it out for her. But we're going to bless her. God is going to reward her. She is a blessing to us. She is not lazy. He didn't ask me to do it. I'm doing it because I want to do it. Amen. I was going to do it if wasn't nobody else going to do it. I go get in my stance and get it done. Amen. Because, but it's a blessing to be a blessing. Amen. Huh? But isn't it beautiful? When they ask her, when she go back to work, yeah, my church, amen. Even though she didn't ask for it, but my church, because God put upon my heart to do this for her. Amen. Because she has, she has been faithful. She has served while she's crying, going through. She has served this house. So we get a chance to serve her. Amen. Because uh, uh, we know she believes God. And she didn't ask me to do this. But she's going to get rewarded for her faith. And then, first, and then first, second of all, here's the principle. She put in the pot. Y'all yeah. mean letters I get from people who want to get in the pot? Who want out the pot who ain't never put in the pot? Wow. All right. Yeah, she put in the pot. So the pot don't bless her. She don't get blessed by what she already put in. Amen. I might as well tell you, ain't no secrets up in here. All right? Do not make this year a year, especially if you have a health problem when you decide you don't want to believe God. Amen. Hey, if God say live, I don't care what the doctor say. If the doctor say you're going to die, but God say live, guess what's going to happen? You're going to live. If the doctor say you're going to live, but God says you out of here, guess what's going to happen? I think we all, let's all believe God. Amen. And so no matter what, if a doctor tell you anything, don't let them experiment on you. Go to God. God, what do you say? If God tell you to have the operation, have it. If he tell you don't, if he tell you heal, somebody thank God. It means something. You're not just coming to church on the Sunday. You're coming to believe God. If God tell you don't have a surgery, you're going to go get it. Man, that's, man, that's the reason why they got portions. And pump medicine. And stuff in you, and then you addicted to it. Amen. So you'll never see a broke pharmacist. Have a method in some kind of people. Prescribe them, whatever. Take a pill. I got people here, that's their profession. Amen. But your trust is in God. And don't get ignorant. If God tell you something, we're not knocking doctors. I got a couple of men here. There's more coming. All right? But our thing is, our belief is in God. He has the final say so. Amen. Huh? So watch this now. So if 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 you are instructed by a take the mess, right? Then you do it. You don't feel bad about that. Hey Amen. I got people talking about all oh, I'm all faith. Well, take your eyeglasses off me. <laughs> I got word for everybody. Hey Amen. Hey, I, I just believe God. Oh, what is this? Keep coming with eyeglasses. Well, that no, 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 no. You say you believe God. Hey Amen. 
the main thing is that when it's all said and done, it's God. Alright? Not old, wholeheartedly trust what my doctor said. No, 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 no. No, no, because if God said you out of here, they can't give me nothing to keep you up. And if God said you could be category four. Oh, man, I read a book where a lady said she was a, a four. She said she ran to church. She told God, I want to keep living. She was a four. Four man, that's hostage, right? That means that that's we can't even afford you. She said she told God she wanna live. She said she changed her changed her diet and whatever she was, that four stayed right there. Amen. Yeah. And she came in to help. Somebody thank God for a word. Amen. Just thank God for a word. As opposed to having a condition. And then they prescribe something that you don't even need. And then that chemo takes you up out of here. Amen? The whole thing is your belief in God, your level of faith. That's not even my message. That's for whoever that's for. Verse 12. For the word of God. Ah, here we go. I'm going to end on this. It's quick. Is it quick? Yeah. It's quick. Man, the word of God got hands, y'all. <laughs> The word of God has hands. It is quick. How many of y'all have had something you were planning on? Ain't told nobody. Kept it to yourself. And the word took it. Uh -huh. Something you was going to do. Right. And the word took it. All right. Something you was going to say. Some, some, some action that would have been detrimental, but you heard a word. Right. Where would you be if you hadn't heard a word? Where would you be if that word had to be quick? Amen. Could have, could have went headlong into destruction, a destructive relationship, whatever destructive plan, but a quick word changed your mind. Yeah. If it was a word that told you to repent, somebody thank God for a word that told them to repent. Say you sorry. Uh, uh, don't do that again. Amen. Uh oh, I'm going to get that. Leave him alone. Leave her alone. Leave them alone. Don't call them again. Don't touch baby. Don't be up with them. Somebody thank God for a quick word. Don't meet them. Don't run. Uh, go this place. Go that place. Do this. Take that left. Take that right. Don't go in that store. Go down that street. Take a left here, man. Somebody thank God. Amen. A word, amen. That God sent to your spirit. If it wasn't quick, you would have crashed. Ah, oh, the word of God is quick. What else is the word? And powerful. You want a powerful word. How many of y'all know it takes a powerful word for you? Man, a head like concrete. I can't have no soft word. How many of y'all couldn't take no soft pastor? Man, good gracious. Huh? How y'all can take no whoremongering pastor messing around there everybody? Man, no family ran church. Amen. No, where, 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 where his daughter, amen, gets prayed over, you get put out doing the same thing. No, you want a powerful word that goes for everybody. Amen. And the word has to be powerful. Why? Because it has to be able to decimate the lust that comes out your belly. Oh man, it has to be powerful to change your mind and direction. You are great today because of a powerful word. Couldn't no weak word have did that for you. Too headstrong. Hey, how many y'all know you're headstrong? Too headstrong. Too opinionated. Look at me for smile. Too opinionated. You like what you like. I like Louis. I don't like Coach. I want a Louis bag. I don't want a Coach bag. I want a Coach bag. Ain't nothing wrong with Coach, but I want a Louis bag. And headstrong. It takes a hard, powerful word to change your mind. Look at what the word has stopped you from doing. Amen. Look at what the word has made. Amen. It was a powerful word. Amen. Some of y'all were so fearful. Some of y'all were so negative. Look how man, they took a word to get Sonia to Hawaii. Amen. Sonia didn't come to Grace looking like this. Amen. Sonia came. I won't even tell you who you came in here with. It's so embarrassing. She's like, please don't tell them who I came in. Please don't tell them who I was in love with. Please. But it ain't, ain't no word to be thanked for the powerful word to be dressed like that. To look like that, smell like that, amen, to be able to go by herself 
from her. Why? She to depend on people and lean on people and get her feeling spiteful. Amen. Set on and trample over. But I can't praise now because of powerful words. I can do all things through Christ with sinners. Somebody shout hallelujah for a powerful word. This is a powerful word to make me a man of God, a woman of God. People, they was all kind of amen. Police reports written out on you and restraining orders. Amen. Who they used to restrain you from? That old piece of a man. Come on now. Just look like you've been hit with an ugly stick. Amen. And you was all in love and bam, pulling people's weeds out over him and everything. Got a collection of weeds and threw the snacks off of him. Well, old <laughs> What do you do with your weed collection? And your weed collection that you picked up out of Amico parking lot. Amen. As a reminder that I rolled that heifer up. Come on now. Where your weed collection at? I'm going to turn my back on this one. This is a Miles Davis movie right here. You love jazz, you know what I'm talking about. This is a Miles Davis. Amen. You even ashamed of who you had a baby by. Got to turn around now and give me permission. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Lord. Hey, I don't even know who that person was. I know Brandon on the al 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 alcohol. <laughs> something something happened. Amen. Huh? When you look at Tracy Warren then, to Tracy Warren now, Oh, uh, she's about to shake her head on. Uh. Big Jim's daughter. But oh, nobody knew. Behind the Mercedes Benz was a hurt person. Now, hey man, I didn't know who she was. Y'all. She had to inbox me. Who Volvo? Volvo ain't no black car. Who's Volvo that outside? Well, it ain't no black car. <laughs> That's somebody done crossed the river. Come on now. <laughs> and I introduced myself. I, man, I spent half my ministry in your parking lot trying to stop stuff. And she never came outside. Never came out. I said, I spent half my parking I had the white helmet. That was me, only one in town. Out there regulating stuff. Could have lost my life. She all you do is come outside. I said, why didn't you come outside? I could have saved you some tears. And I wasn't ready. Might have been stuck up. Because she was riding fat in Benzes and everything. When your daddy is a businessman, you can ride like that. But in the big of time, we connected. Look at her today. Amen. Look at the trip she done been on. She a certified Louis addict. She done picked up another degree. Amen. Her income. Oh, thank God. Amen. She ain't 
ain't the same person. You might look the same, but you're not the same. Amen. Somebody give God some glory. You got to thank God for what he has done in your life. And there's no better day than the 20th of January. God has put in your seat. Lord, I thank God for a word. If I hadn't had a word, amen. If it hadn't been powerful, if it hadn't found me, look where I would be. Now I'm going to tell you why that word had to be sharper. I know the rest. It had to read it, man. Goes back to a blessing that was pronounced. And that Moses pronounced. Read. And powerful and sharper <sighs> than any two-edged sword. Here we go. All right, gave man a little synopsis of this. Oh, you're going to love this. But what does it do now? It's sharper in your mind. The sharper word any two is sharper than any two-edged sword. Drop that W on that now. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sword, ain't no sword, no way. No, no sword. Drop that sword. W. Sword, all right. Drop that W. Mm -hmm. That's All right. Sharper. It's sharper. I'm going to show you why I may already know because I gave us a knife. So we yeah. got right away. It's because, Brian, of what it's able to do. Yeah. Ooh. Sharper than any two edged sword. What does the word do? That's why you don't never go to a place that entertains you with a dull sword. A mass choir can't cut you. A mass choir will make you feel good about the condition you're in. You got to get cut on. Here it is right here. You got to get cut on. Right. If I sit in church any at the time and the man don't cut me or the woman don't cut me, I ain't got to go because I can't afford to have what's inside of me metastasized. It's the, on ooh, this is too much. It's the oncology of the word. Yes, sir. Where if I'm not cut, yes. then the cell of unbelief and fear will metastasize and destroy my life. It will spread to my vitals to where I can't be helped no more. It'll get out into my kidneys and my lungs and my brain, and that's it. Amen. Ugh. It's the oncology of the word. Most people run from a cutting word, and therefore the thing inside of them, the lust inside of them, whatever's inside, it metastasizes a fancy way of saying it grows, it spreads. So the oncology of the word is the, the, the man of God, the one of God has to cut and cut margins around you. Yeah. They got to cut so many inches over to the left, right, and around of the area. That's why, why are you bringing up stuff? Why would you bring up how she came in here? Because I'm just cutting, amen, to make sure, amen, because that presentation, he might try to come back, amen, but I am cut around that, and he can't come back. She'll never see that kind of man again because I cut. Oh, y'all. With a level of man she was in love with, you ever see that kind of man? I cut the margins. Amen. But watch it. She had to want to be cut. I didn't go to her house and cut her. She had to come here to get cut. Amen. I didn't make no house call. <laughs> you come to church because if I don't, and, 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 and see, if you think oncology, you don't ever follow anything I say because I'm too self-absorbed to be trying to get in your business. I should be in Paris right now on my way to wherever I want to go. Hey Amen. If I came back, make sure the lights are on. Okay. I said, I'll be back to y'all February 1st. That's when the month is over with. I'll be back before I'm just zinging right now. But I'm on vacation. Okay. Hey Amen. I don't mind folks missing because I'll be missing too in a few minutes. All right. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. February 1st, I get back with y'all for a blast. Right. Other than that, I'm just coming by, make sure everything's on. Let's pass the letter, because see, they make sure I put the money in her hand. Some of y'all made took it, somebody that's the Lord. <laughs> so I got to go put it in her hand, right? Right. But, but, but think about this. <laughs> you have to come here to get cut. There are people who couldn't, who couldn't take it. Everybody can't take it. They sure can't take it. 
because it cuts. It's a hard church. It's a book. <laughs> so be sitting here with, with stuff inside of you metastasizing. Amen. And there's some beautiful families in here. There's some beautiful husbands and wives in here. Amen. This is a beautiful, this pretty town in the front row is a wife. This ain't nobody's girlfriend, y'all. That, that, we, we cut that. We came in here as a girl. We cut all that. They met me now. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Are y'all proud of uh, 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 yeah. uh, area? Are you proud of Chris and Echo? Yeah. Amen. Are you proud? Look at this girl. This, this ain't, she, she, she left. Amen. For the girl who almost cost her her life and came back. She's sitting here a wife now. Yeah. Amen. But when she came back, the night was still sharp. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Amen. She came back and was still sharp. Come on, somebody thank God. She came back and it was the same night. The night didn't get gone. Yeah. Worst thing in the world is for a pastor to feel sorry for you. You are lost. You're lost as both peach sheep. Y'all know the American life. Right? Mm -hmm. If they feel sorry for you, it won't cut on you. You're lost. <laughs> You're a pharmacist. There's no prescription. Yeah. So, so can I just come to the counter and say, I, I want uh <laughs> If they could, they would. Those addicts would. Uh, I think I'd take a bag of What's that on that top shelf? There, that, that, that. Where is your prescription? Oh no, I'm gonna. It's just something I want. I, read, I heard about it. I bought somebody else and it made me feel good. They said, "Take that edge off me." I take that bag of that. It, no, no, sir. Why can't I get that? Why, why, why that over on that side of the counter? There's other stuff on this side of the counter. Because the stuff on this side of the counter, oh, you got your prescription, Paul. Right. Right. Where's your prescription? My cousin wrote, no, 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 no. We don't take prescriptions written by cousins. You got to have a doctor. Ooh, come on now. How can he preach except he be? Yes. Ooh, faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Yes. Huh? Yes. You don't have a prescription that can't help you. Now, on the prescription, you it tells you how many times a day you have to take it. It tells you some, you have to eat food. This is so powerful. You cannot take this on the empty stomach. Everything is ready. I'll do more. I know I say only take one day. I'm going to take four. Well, you might as well call a cemetery too. Because if it says take one, you can't sit there and take four because you think it's going to make you feel better quicker. It's all time release. It all, it, my man, come on now. Somebody, thank God, just get you a word for the day. Get a pill for the day. Take it for the day. Amen. And come back and get another prescription for another day. But make sure you text and then they tell you, finish out the bottle. Just because you feel good, just because you ain't laid with nobody, don't mean you totally healed from being a hoe. Amen. Just because you ain't come on now, that doesn't mean you're here. You got to take the whole Wow, amen. And, and, and that bottle ain't never gonna be in. You gotta keep taking another one, and another one, and another one, another day. And then you become a wife. Then you gotta walk. Then you can throw the bottle out, amen. But now. Gotta finish it out. No more babies out of wedlock. Finish that out now. Gotta be a man of God. You can't have everything that wants you. Finish the bottle out. Gotta be a priest. You don't want your kids to look up to you because you're tall. Huh? The man over at Bezo about to lose $80 million for somebody. She ain't that fine. And the embarrassment for his kids. About to cut his fortune in half. In half. His kids. Huh? That shit is kept bad, man. I, I, that's, I, I, I told her why. That, 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 
that chick, she took her look, she said, I, I know my looks don't get him, but I'm going to make myself interesting. And that's what he fell for, because she's a helicopter pilot. And that takes a lot of training. Everybody can't fly a helicopter. But that chick broke his home up. And he got rich with the plain woman who made him wealthy. The plain woman who helped him build that business, he don't want her no more. Now he wants somebody who, who, who had babies by millionaires, but that ain't good enough. She went from millions to billions. He said, I'll oh, million that can do it. You got a baby by one. Tony Gonzalez, you'll be on TV today doing the game. You'll be, that's Tony Gonzalez. That girl, that woman that is with Jeff Bezos has a baby by Tony Gonzalez who will be commentating on the day's game. That chick is that's one of those women. Amen. And I'm trying to tell my men who God is going to make wealthy here, it ain't worth it to lose your family. Amen. It ain't worth it. Come on, man. Don't leave your hand. It ain't worth it. Amen. Come and get you a sharp word that, amen, make sure that you have margin so you'll always be a faithful husband. Somebody thank God, amen, for being a faithful husband and priest. It ain't worth losing the love of your bitch in life over somebody temporarily. Huh? Amen. It ain't worth it. This is just so key that it ain't worth it. He ain't said nobody, girl. He ain't said nobody. Exactly was. That Bezos, he is taking trips with his friend's wife. They were lying and said they were doing a project together. They were. Because <laughs> his friend is simply, watch this now, a multi-millionaire. Jerry had one there. He had a couple there. One dude in the NFL, because they pass around like blunts. She was already with another NFL. But there's that kind of woman out there. Remember my famous line, I'm going to put it in the book so I don't use because I'm going to sue you. It's a bad heifer to know there's some other bad heifers out there. She, she, she just, they, well, you lay with just anybody that loves you and kill them in the back room at the study hall. She went for me and now she's trying to upgrade to a billionaire. His friend's wife. Now his wife ain't one of those tender why that stay, with, stay by my man, stand by my man, like, no, I'm going to get my man's money. This is my money. I help him build it. And she did. So he traded in a smart woman who is the wife uh, a mother of his children for somebody who's looking to upgrade. Right. Who don't care what it takes, what she has to do to upgrade. And it's going to cost him $80 billion. If it goes down the way it goes down, it will be the most expensive divorce in the history. Now you know that chick, I don't care what kind of move she, she ain't worth no $80 billion. She cannot be that good. Amen. <laughs> I don't care if she come with a pole. She is not that good, y'all. If she come with a pole, if she got a pole in a purse that she brings out and...
I'm talking about young. There's nothing worse. These kids grew up on these great. There's nothing worse than a homemongering church. And look at the young women who are, whose mothers are single, who are learning how to master by watching their mothers walk with God, how to master their own bodies. Because ain't nobody creeping out of mama's room. Ain't nobody lying in the room. That's how you learn that stuff. Some of the things that are bothering you is because you learned it from other people who you watch. Okay? Which is not your fault the family you were born in. But thank God there was a word that found you that was powerful enough to cut around how you were raised and what you were used to. Amen. Huh? If you were raised with where, where, where man, your, your mama ran your life, you probably won your marriage, you probably won. No, somebody got to cut around that. You the priest over that home. So you even taught how to be what kind of mother-in-law to be. We don't sit there and run our kids' business. Amen. That's their business. They, they family. They think we are help with anything. But sit there and run, run, and amen. Don't you be dogging Elo out. No, Elo's our daughter. Amen. We ain't trying to die. You gotta learn how to be what kind of mother-in-law to be. Huh? They don't come home and I'm in the house cooking. It's just, you know, in my house, I'm in the house all cooking, laid up. <laughs> I call them, I'm coming over. Are y'all there? Hey, Amen. Y'all learn. That's there. Hey, Amen. Trying to run their life. Trying to be a blessing, if anything. That's it. A blessing. Uh, not no terms, a blessing. Purely a blessing. The Word of God teaches you that. So you don't destroy your kids. See, that's the word for everybody. Nobody gets to say, I'm like, uh, I just said I didn't get nothing. That's because you don't want to get cut. Because there's something you got to learn. Every, every day should be a learning. You don't want to live and quit learning. They say your brain, everything, your brain, everything starts shutting down. That's why you have to learn a new language, learn how to play an instrument. Keep your brain shut. Because the cells, am I right, nurse? Come on, nurse. Your cells are not being replenished. You got to stay busy. And keep your brain sharp, your instrument, your mind sharp. Other than that, it's over for you. Well, the word of God is the same thing. You always want a short word. So you can live your best life. Now, I started to say this because I'm getting hungry. Let me show you why the word is sharp. I'm going to mess with you. The word is sharp. He did not say that the word was like an arrow. Anybody know who shoots arrows? Who shoots arrows? The enemy, right? Yeah. Okay, there's some heavy stuff. Now, don't get an argument with the Church of God in Christ, Pentecostal, Lutheran, on fire brand, Methodist friends over this. It's come from studying. There's a reason Mother Mary said why I said the Word of God, the metaphor is sharper than a two edged sword. It's because a sword can do something that an arrow can't do. Right. There were two weapons that they were common in. One was an arrow and one was a spear, but the replacement spear was the sword. Sword of the Spirit. Why is there a sword of the Spirit? And I'm right, is that right? Sword of the Spirit. Yes. It's because of what the sword can do with one swoop. Ah. Take you out of Hebrew class real quick. Get Deuteronomy. I've been studying this chapter for all year. Because it's too deep. And this is just part of it. And I shared it with May Lee and her Creighton diploma kicked in right away. Just kicked in. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 33. Yeah. Look at verse talking about all the blessings. Now you've been learning that in Deuteronomy 33, the reason why Moses' blessing was greater than Jacob's blessing because Jacob blessed as a father. Moses blessed as a leader. A leader's blessing is greater than that of a father. Trump is missing out on a great opportunity to bless the world. Okay? A leader's blessing is greater than a father. All right? So Moses pronounced a blessing on all the tribes because he was at death's door. He's going to get 120 years. Right. Which according to people who believe the Bible, we, are, we, we can get 120 years. Amen. All 
right? So you're talking, that's why you're 63. Well, I, that's middle life, yeah, that's middle age. Uh, I got 57 more to go if I, right. amen, uh, conduct myself accordingly. That's right. If I want to live that long, that's okay? Right. Uh, man, most people my age look bad, y'all. They through, they finished. She was finished 15 years earlier. They just finally got the email. <laughs> Man, I'm about living. I'm about life. What I do for living, I live. That's what I do for living. Right. Amen. I, I make no apologies, no nothing. Amen. No compromise. Got big plans. You got big plans today. Gonna feed myself and watch the game. How about that? Amen. Big plans. For real. Amen. I don't mess with nobody. Mess with nobody. I thank God for the day. I don't know how many more. January 20th I'm gonna get. I'm gonna max this one out. Amen. That's, that's how I live. I don't know how many more. January 20th. Yesterday was my son's birthday. I thank God I've had him for 34 years. Amen. It was James' birthday. That's how I live. I live the max life. I try. I set my quad water this year to get up at 4.30. Poor people stay in bed. I ain't poor. I got to get up. Amen. 4.30 in the morning. I set my clock. I get up. I got things to do. I even have a song that I listen to called the Ma'ashi, which is how can I repay the Lord? I go over all my blessings, amen, I listen, I go to my garage, I touch every toy I got, I tell God, when I put on my job, I say, God, look at your glory, amen. This is how I live every single day, amen. But 4.30, I am up, don't call me, I ain't trying to talk to you, I'm talking to God, amen. 4.30, I'm up! I get up at 4 30. Look how much time left it gives me in the day. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I got things to do. I keep my mind fresh and sharp. Amen. You have to come back, come back the aging process by amen with, with innovative thoughts, amen, and ideas. Because you can't help getting older. The other alternative is to be gone and you're trying to be here. So you got to get up early, amen. I even play the gap band early in the morning. Not for the song, what the song is about, but it, it, it gets me hot early in the morning. Got to find me not a new love, a new something to love today, amen. Amen. Love a new book, amen. I read stuff every day. Something I don't read, ain't read since you left, fellow. I read every day because I can't keep my mind sharp for living. Amen. When the angel joy in your lap gets married 18, 19, 20 years now, I want to be the one conducting the ceremony. Amen. At 20 years from now, I got to keep my mind sharp. You don't get that laying in bed letting illness find you. All of a sudden your knees is creaking. <laughs> hmm. Meditate on that while I find it. Look at verse. 20. Show you why the word has to be sharp. And of God, because he went and blessed everybody. The one that got the most blessing was Joseph. He got the agricultural, the fertil agricultural fertility blessing. He went through the most. He got the most blessings, all right? Mm -hmm. Got a tenfold blessing. Matter of fact, the last five tribes are considered the weaker tribes, but they still got a blessing anyway. But Gad gives us insight into why the word has to be sharp. Yes. This is the Hebrew, right? I know it don't read that way in your Bible, but trust me. What does it say about Gad? And of Gad, he said, Blessed be he that enlarges Gad. Enlarges Gad. Enlarges means expands. Yes. So when you talk about the word of God, you're talking about expansion. And there's never a day where you don't need any word. Or you got enough word. Never. Okay? So you're talking about expansion. Read. He dwelleth as a lion. He dwelleth as a lion. What, what does a lion do? Is not, when we talk about our questions, is he not the lion of the tribe of Judah? Mm hmm Okay. In the beginning was the Word. God and the Word was God. All right. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. So you tie day, day, tied in the lion of the tribe of Judah. Uh, now, so because the enemy is an imitator of God. Yes. 
He is as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Right? Yes. That, but he is not the lion of the tribe of Judah. Right. He's an imitator. That's why you have to try the spirit to see that you're God. Because sometimes he'll try to talk in the same voice that you think is God. He's just roaring at you. That's right. He'll try to roar at you to, to scare you, yes. to distract you. He's a, as a roaring lion, but he's not the lion of the tribe of Judah. That's it. Get your lions right. All right. All right. <laughs> Right? We're going somewhere there. What can a lion do? Read. And tear it the arm with the crown of the head. Here we go. We're going to get deep here now. All right? So the lion, he's as a lion. He's as a weapon or a sword that can tear the... Read that part again. And tear it the arm with the crown of of the head. What can the lion of the tribe of Judah do which is really the word of God in one swoop the lion, the sword can sever the head and the arm at one time. Yes sir. Why are we going somewhere with this? Why is that important? Why do you have to hear a word that will sever your arm and your, your head at the same time? It has to be your head because whatsoever man thinketh in our soul is your mind. That's why you have mind fight and mind fight and things cross your mind. Amen. And you don't have the mind of Christ, so we have to cut your head off. Amen. You gotta cut your thought process off. Amen. To think you can do anything outside the will of God. Amen. To think somehow you're gonna escape. Amen. Your head has to be cut off. To think you can violate God rules and principles and come out on top. Amen. If somebody would have cut Nimrod's head off, amen, he wouldn't have had the mind to think he was going to build something and get that high. But then God let him keep on building. I don't know what brick made God mad, but he decided to come out and wipe it all down. You ought to thank God that whatever thought that you have that's outside the will of God, that the word of God cuts your head. You're going to kill your husband or wife. Cut that thought off. You're going to be rebellious and not have gratitude. And be blessed. Cut that thought off that you can treat God any kind of way. Cut that thought off that amen. Somehow you're going to escape. And then your head got to be cut off. Oh, Lord, have mercy. That's the head. Yes, that you won't get away. That somehow all the crea creation, all the creatures on earth, somehow you're going to escape the wrath of God. Somehow, you're exceptional. There's an aspect by your life that you're going to get away with it. That head got, now, nah, it's okay, I understand the head. Bad thoughts, negative thinking, unbelief, fear. Your head, anybody going to love me? I'm unlovable. I'm not this, I'm not that. Jealousy, envy, uh, I'm not bad, all that kind of stuff that runs across our mind. Right, come on. Got to be cut off. I can't walk with God. One of my daughters thanked me on Amen for my birthday on Facebook. I said, quit running. I didn't say thank you for my birthday. I was already in my birthday. I was already in Paris. I already bagged up a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> well, I'm fine. She's not in my birthday. I hit her back and messaged her. Quit running. Come back home. I ain't saying it, but I put it in. She didn't, she didn't respond. She had just responded, happy birthday, and I hit her, bam! Mm -hmm. So I'm still shooting for her head. Because that mind got you out there. Now come before you get HIV positive or whatever. Somebody kill you or wipe all that beauty out. Pretty girl, wipe all that out. And I get that hit. Man, she come back in. I'm going to try to cut her head off. Yeah. Not with harsh words. No. But cut that head off. And because she, all she has done is sit out there and waste that beauty. And pass that beauty around like it's a blunt. Come home and heal. Amen. She's the only one. And she can come back. If you hear, she can come here. Amen. And heal. And have a new mind in Christ Jesus. Somebody thank God. <laughs> Not cut your head off. You can be a robot and follow past the ball. No, 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 no. No, no. We don't do no mind control stuff. Cut your head so you can follow God. Now, that's the head. Whatever your problems are, it's in your mind. It's your mind. So we got to cut your mind. The word cuts your head and your arm too. Not just your head. Your right. arm. 
because the arm represents the physicality to put into action or to go after what your mind told you to do. That's right. So he said that Gad is like a lion that can sever the arm and the head with one swipe. It's got to be a clean. Your mind is gone and the physicality to go after what your mind told you is all laying on the ground. Uh-huh. That is the sword of the spirit. Don't y'all ever forget that. That is Hebrew study. The head and the arm. Uh, my mind is set. But he asked him, did the arm go? Uh-huh. Did the arm go? Amen. Because you need your arm, amen, to put into motion going after what God didn't want you to have. Reaching after, amen. That's the beauty of a man. some good stuff. That's the beauty of a wife. A wife stopped her husband from overreaching outside his boundaries. Amen. Lord have mercy. You gotta find God for a word that will take the head and the arm so you can even reach for something that's out the will of God. Amen. Now God is able to bless you. You are a new creature in Christ Jesus because of the sword of the spirit. You can walk in the newness of life. You can walk in blessing. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. This will be the best year of your life because of the word of God. You set up the head and the heart. You don't even have the physicality to be out God's will. Even when you look like you're losing, you win. Why? Because the head and the arm to be out God's will is gone. The word took it. Amen. The word took it. I'm just waiting on my season to change. Amen. That's why you're not in Bermuda shorts today. If you are, you're going to catch pneumonia. Amen. You're not in Bermuda shorts because the season to change. The weather to change. Amen. Oh, man. I'm trying to get done here. But guess what? When you're the blessing of Joseph, you don't care if it's snowing outside. You don't care if the ground is frozen. Amen. What amen that ground for the next season. Amen. You are blessed if the moon comes out because you get the agricultural fertility blessing of nature when you are Joseph. When it rains, you are blessed because you got seed in the ground. When the sun is shining, amen. Amen. Photosynthesis, amen. It takes the sun to shine, amen. In order to get what you got to get, amen. When the moon is out, you are blessed by the lesser light, amen. If you ever have a mind by step outside and say, Lord, it's all under control and go on back to bed, you are blessed when the snow is coming, amen. You are blessed with the cold air. Come on, don't go stop, hallelujah. There's not a day that you wake up that a blessing ain't trying to find you. You ain't looking for a blessing, a blessing is trying to find you. Shout hallelujah, Joseph, because the hand of God is on your life. They're going to ask you, Joseph, why are you blessed? Why are you balling out of control? Why? It looks like you just got blessed yesterday. Now you stacking them. Said that I stayed in there and heard a word that cut my head and arm off. Yes. That mind to be out the will of God, gone. Come on, Bishop. That arm, the physicality to amen, go after what God said I can't have. It's gone. It's all on the ground. Yes. And any time I, well, 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 that's a one and that. No, I got to keep coming back because that kind of mind will go back. Come on now. That kind of arm will go back and try to reach for something. So I got to constantly, amen. If I'm down to a nub, cut the nub off, amen. I got to make sure I never end up where I used to be. Somebody said that I never want to be what I used to be. When I was outside of the wheel before I went down in Jesus' name, I don't never want to see that man, that woman again. Without a word, that head, that arm, gotta go back. <laughs> don't say demon, I'll be one child, thought she was rested. Don't do that, I'll do that. If you do, you're gonna get visitation, because I ain't never played with But I will tell you, there are multi headed demons. Multi headed. Demons have specificity. On assignment. And you sitting here looking all innocent, waiting for me to quit so you go eat. But a demon, I want to go eat too, but I'm about to quit. A demon has already sighted you up 
Look at the spirit of red dot on your forehead. You watch all the movies. That's how you know somebody like to get killed. So somebody excited up and you get a red dot. Because you weren't supposed to come through last year. Ooh. You weren't supposed to come through. What you doing here? Praising God. There's people that lose nobody who lost their mind. You hear your right man looking good, smelling good, and praising God. Ooh. Ooh. You able to lose people back to back, and you still on your post. Amen. You got the love of your life, and you are still, you ain't supposed to be here. I thought I ended that marriage last year. I thought I took that mind. Remember that deer I told you about? Come on now. That was on my left side? Yes. I'm in a Mercedes Benz convertible, which means there's no structural rigidity. The full way that deer on a convertible, even it would have been a sedan. Mm -hmm. At the minimum, I should be mangled. Yes. Come on. The minimum. On the right side, you can say, well, it was because you were doing 80, you hit the brakes, and did the panic, and you went side. I think I lost control doing 80. I was doing 80. Was that Arizona? Uh, uh, Oklahoma. But he was on my left side when I saw his face. Which meant he should have ended up at least in my windshield, the weight part of him, the back part, or at least clip my right quarter panel. None of the above. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Woo! I saw him and then I didn't see yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Now you figure out what happened. Come on. I saw him. But when he had to be close, I'm right, and I didn't see him. Yes, Because my God is a amen on rock. Amen. So long. He is Havana when he suspends the laws of nature and he picked that deer up, amen, and suspended him, amen. Yeah, yeah. He's the God of physics of my life, amen, and called yeah. the body property. Come on, Bishop. God spoke me into 2019. Yeah. I've been sighted up for 33 years. Sighted. Let something happen so he have a dull night and he can't cut that hair and that arm off. <laughs> That's why you really, if you really into it, you don't care what I drive, as long as I bring a word. Come you on. can care less. Yes, sir. I can care less. It ain't what you draw, it's your knife I need. I need a sword. I need a powerful sword. I need a head and an arm gone so I don't get out the will of God. Every head bowed, I hear you. That's mine. Make sure I stick around for Ava Joy. 